Jesus. Right, here we are, we're at Doncaster Dome and I've just caught up with uh, Josh Hill on a little bit of a trip back from Thailand. How's it going, Paul? Yeah, it's going good. Good you're, to be back. You're good for me, but how long are you back for, mate? Uh, two weeks in total, so one more week. And then you're back over to Thailand so you can continue your career over there? Yeah. Pretty. What you got lined up, mate, over there? Um, on 29th of September, I fight on uh, Max Muay Thai again. And then I come back for the Yokao show over here. And then I'm fighting in Australia in November. Who we got on Yokao? Do we know yet? Yeah, yeah, I know. You've got to keep it under wraps. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Well, you got your opponent lined up. Yeah, yeah, I've got a good name. And a fight you're looking forward to. Yeah, can't wait. Right, let's go back to the start of things, mate. Where did you start and what was your early junior career like? Uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, I started 10 years ago, training at Majestic Gym. And then I had my first fight, like, three and a half years after training. On one of your shows, Pete. That's not too That was good to give the, uh, the Super Show a shout, mate. Yeah, I had my first two fights in the same day against George Jarvis and Stuart Stabler. So, well, they're not bad. <laughs> Looking back on that, you know, there was some matches, weren't there, in the early days? Yeah. And it, to, and it's great to see how many stayed with it, and it? Like yourself, yeah. doing really well. Yeah, and then just progress through there. Right, so then let's just move on to the adult ranks. Um, you transitioned from non-head contact to head contact fights, and what's your journey been like? Let's say up to starting on your camp. Yeah, it was good. I, I think I only had like four or five junior fights, so I didn't really have that many. And then I think now I've had about 45 head contact. So. And it's gone well. Yeah, it's gone all right. What was um, what was the lead up like when you first got the call to find out about Yokel? Yeah, it was a bit of a weird one because I was good mates with my opponent called Isaac Taylor. Uh, we went to Thailand together training and, and we was over there when we got the message to fight each other. And yeah, we both took it and came back and fought. <laughs> and how many fights have you had on your cow now, Josh? Four. I've had four on you. Yeah, and then five, time. five coming up in yeah, yeah. October. So what, what's your life like in, in Thailand since you moved virtually full time yeah. over there? Hard. Hard? Get up at, leave for my run about 10 to 6 in the morning run seven and a half mile, come back, and then we train till about 8.39, and then from three o'clock till six, training again. And you're enjoying it? Yeah, loving it. <laughs> you, you've done amazingly well, mate, and to be honest, all the UK is behind you. Yeah. You get good figures on when you're fighting. Um, I'd just like to thank you for this little interview, and, and just to let you know, mate, that we're all backing you. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, mate. Right, thanks, Pete. Okay.